Welcome to this video. In today's video, I'll be going over something that I came across recently. So a couple of days ago, I had an issue where um, I had a component similar to this, and I was the the I had an image tag that's uh, loading an SVG logo, and I needed to change the um, the logo's color, and so. Like everyone else, I went to the developer tools and I inspected the image and I tried to do fill and then I noticed I can't access the, the fill property. As you know, and if you, you, if you don't know, then basically the fill property is used with an SVG logo and it allows you to change the color, <coughs> the color of the SVG logo or an SVG. And so I couldn't use the fill property and so I went to um, the second option which is color and I said color red and as you can see the logo stayed the same and at this point I was thinking to myself hmm what what is causing it you know I've come across this before I've come across this problem before and I was able to solve it but you know, sometimes you just forget. And so after a bit of research, I noticed that um, since we are adding the actual logo inside an image, the image becomes like a guard around it. So anything we add on the image will not go down to the logo. Meaning, if I set a color on the image, it's not going to be inherited by the actual SVG logo. But after a bit of research, I, come, I came across different ways of working with this or working with an SVG. If you have a simple use case, if you continue want to, uh, if you continue want to, um, you know, use the image tag and then um, have a, an SVG logo inside of it, then you can use a filter. And inside this filter, if it's a simple case, like a, you want to change the color to the opposite, like you can invert it. Um, as you can see here, it's inverted. And there's a lot of stuff you can actually do. And if you, you can actually do a lot of things, such as the opac opacity and inverting, brightness, and blur, but you're very limited in this case. And so this option is not good for me. And so the other option was that what if I get rid of this image tag, okay, and grab the actual SVG um, format and just place it inside here. So in this case, I'll just go, I'll get rid of this, I'll comment this out and place this here. And run it and as you can see now we have our uh, logo displayed on the right and if I look here on the code you can see that it has the fill property and it's given this color so I can change it directly from here or I could actually change it from the actual CSS or from the, the developer tools. So in here I could just say fill pink. Okay. Now this is fine, but as you can see the SVG uh, file is, is, is way too big. So we don't want this to be too messy and you know you don't want this to happen in your code and so the other option would be to actually um, create a component that's responsible for rendering the actual SVG and so I'm gonna get rid of this completely and I'm gonna go here and create another component and I'm gonna call it custom logo.js and I'm gonna import I'll close this for a second import react from react and I'm going to use the 
auto completion uh, for a react component and i'm just gonna get rid of this and in here i am gonna say i'm gonna grab what i had what i've added previously so i'm gonna grab what's in here and place it inside here i'm gonna clean this a bit get rid of this the div okay get rid of uh just make it a bit nicer don't forget your semicolons and i'm going to import it so i no longer need this import i'm going to say import custom logo from custom logo and in here i'm just simply going to render that custom logo and as you can see now guys I no longer have to deal with messy code. Instead, I have a component that does that for me, which is the custom logo. Now this can be really custom. So I could, you know, tell it what color I want based from here. So if I wanted to, you know, like if I wanted to say, I want you to give me a red color or a pink or whatever, I could just pass it here. So I could say color or maybe call it fill. Let's call it fill. And in here, I'm just going to say, this time I want it to be pink. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to destructure that pink value or prop. And instead of having this, I'm going to say, I want to do pink or, or I'm going to give a default value of uh, maybe white so I'll give it a hexadecimal and as you can see right now actually do you know what something is missing let's see fill custom logo I don't need to give it a default value in fact okay just gonna save it like that or even oh yes I know what I did wrong I need to, it's not, it's not pink, it's Phil, that's the prop name we passed in here. <laughs> My head is all over the place. And so when I get the fill, I could just pass it here. And as you can see now, guys, it is changing. And so I could do a lot of things here. I could say blue, I could say, I could say red. And not just, I'm not just, um, uh, props so I could pass it in a class name I could actually place a class name here you know to target it um, so that I know you know if we have a lot of uh, SVG logos we know which one we're dealing with and it's it's pretty it's pretty custom but I could say you know I could see getting very very uh, messy with when you have a lot of logos like like it's perfectly fine to do this it's perfectly fine. In fact, it is recommended to do, to place your SVG in a React component because if you think about it, it's just a function that's returning that image, and you'll have much more um, ability to customize it than placing it inside an image tag. And there's a lot of things I could do with it. I could pass it width, height. You know, I could mess around with it, and you don't need to see what's in this like no other user needs to see all oh, this code is messy all they see is the custom logo and if you need to edit anything then you come here and you edit it otherwise you're keeping the messy stuff um, on its own on its own component so that's um, that's my that's the approach I followed um, it works for me and it works for a lot of people and I hope this video has helped you and I'll see you in the next video